tonight, a local mother is demanding answers from her little boy's school in Redford. She says the five-year-old was left all alone at a public library by his preschool teacher. The incident is now being investigated by Child Protective Services. Here's what the outraged mother had to say to 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie. It's already hard enough as a mother, as a working mom, to trust people to take care of your kid when you're at work. Carla Butler says on Monday, Rainbow Village Daycare notified her and her husband that her son, five-year-old Vernon, was left at the public library located next to the preschool alone. I didn't get up, they just left me. Vernon had wandered off to play on a computer. He told his mom when he looked up, his class was gone. He notified the librarian who called the school to come pick him up. It was absolutely terrifying. Anything could happen. I mean, if you leave a child anywhere, anything could happen. But in a public place, no one needs an ID or a child or anything to get into the library. She says she's getting very little feedback on what happened from Rainbow Village Preschool. It was kind of just like, well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can really do about it. The school sent us a statement and it says they visited the library, which is approximately 100 feet away from where they are located. It states after returning from our field trip and getting the children settled with bathroom facilities and the like, the library contact us before we had the opportunity to walk back and pick up the youngster. And as the library said, and we concur, was within 15 minutes of our return. As for Vernon, he will no longer be going to Rainbow Village Preschool. I'm going to go to summer camp in the summer. I'm going to swim. I did speak with the director of the preschool. She did apologize for what happened and tells me they're working with Child Protective Services as they start an investigation into how this happened. Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. Allie, thanks, and we have that full statement from the school on the homepage of our website, WXYZ.com.